What's up with the squad, man? It's your boy Onio, and I'm back with another video. I'm blind reacting to this video right here, y'all. So, what I need y'all to do, watch the video all the way through. See what's going on, because I'm probably going to be quiet most of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what's going on, but we're going to figure it out together. You know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to figure it out together. <laughs> Hey man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. If you're new to the channel, man, leave a thumb up on this video, man. Turn your post notifications on so you'll know when your boy drop every time your boy drop. And let's go and get into it. Content creator by the name of Ashley Massengill Grayson is taking the internet by storm. Grayson is said to have earned $1 million in just 40 minutes. So who is she? Ashley is the owner of a company called AMPM Credit Repair, which is a course dedicated on helping you create your own credit repair company. So how does one go from making millions in minutes to being indicted on RICO charges for putting hits on not one, not two, but three different people? Ashley is expecting a baby soon. But I'm sh so what's really going on is she get a little taste of money, create a little bit of hatred, and she thinks she uh goes out the block. That's what she that's what she thinks she is. <laughs> no, these folks is telling you trying to set people up, man. They doing it. A gender reveal will not be the only thing revealing in her near future. We're going to get into that and so much more. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Y'all go subscribe to the channel too, man. So there are plenty of six and seven figure gurus out there claiming that they can help people achieve the same goals that they have reached. And when you see this lifestyle with the nice cars and the homes, and then they give you this long sob story on how they've gone from rags to riches, it's easy to lure people in. And that's exactly what happened with Ashley Grayson. Now, Grayson, who claimed she went from facing eviction and having her car repossessed, quickly turned her life around and quit her job in March of 2017, stating that her credit repair company called AMPM Credit Repair was making her more in a month than she was making in three months at her post office job. Ashley did mention before that there was an incident that happened on her job back in 2012, but she did not tell you that that incident ended up making her pretty darn rich. Ashley was working and her hand got stuck in a conveyor belt, leaving four of her fingers at risk of amputation. Oh, so she came up on a little money, then came up on some more money, then started scamming people. Okay. I get it. Now, luckily, they were able to complete surgery and save all but one finger. So over 1.5 years, she had to go through therapy, learning how to tie her shoes again, learning how to get dressed again. Ashley, again, got a pretty hefty settlement. Now, Ashley claimed she didn't get anything because the job was protected by workers' comp and they would only pay for her medical for the rest of her life. But I'm going to tell you, the more you learn about Miss Ashley Grayson, you'll know that she did not go out like that. Now, Sis took some money and she ended up starting her own credit repair company. She called it AMPM Credit Repair. Ashley claims that within 18 months, the business turned into a million dollar enterprise. Now, from there, she decided to make her own course teaching people how to launch their own credit. Everybody want to fix their credit because cash money ain't no good money because people want to build things and if you walk in with cash if you work in a nine to five or or a 12 hour job and you walk in somewhere with a whole lot of cash you still got to show them where you get the cash from they gonna call the people and they gonna wonder how you get this large lump sum of cash whether you've been saving for 20 years 30 years they still want to know when you can go to these banks and the banks just get it get it for you, you know what I'm saying? Give you a little loan, you pay them back a little times too, you know, whatever, but credit good. You can go, if you got good credit, you can go get whatever you want. That's how it is out here. You can have the money to go get what you want, but it's calls being made about it and people sending wondering why you get this, where you get this money from. Cause they think it's tax free money when you, your money get taxed 12 times before you can even use it from scratch, charging them sometimes thousands of dollars to do so. Now, Ashley had been seen online saying this. Remember, um, me making that post saying that I would never teach people how to start their own credit repair companies. I'm not teaching y'all how to be my competition. It's not happening. Don't ask me again. So my thing is this. If you're not going to train your competition, why are you charging your competition? Then ask... Scamming. Scamming. Hey, the world is all about scamming, y'all. Some people know more than others, but the world is a whole scam. 
that the tax system is a whole scam. They just scams. They just scam. They just robbing you, making you rob yourself and robbing you even more. And they just rob you. That's what they do. Starts a company teaching people how to make valuable courses online in whatever niche they decide. Now she's charging thousands of dollars for these courses as well. So she's making millions of dollars because a lot of people are buying into this because she's showing this lavish lifestyle. Again, the cars, the homes, everything else. What Ashley was missing was a man in her corner. So in the midst of showing everyone this lifestyle, Ashley decided to come into contact with this man by the name of Joshua Grayson, who was another credit guru she met online. She is said to have bought into this $30,000 course that he had and shoot her shot. Once the shot was taken, the two began dating. They got engaged, they got married, and they became what many thought were a young black power cup. That's up until a private Facebook group was created that has now garnered over 40,000 members. And in this group, the members are stating their open opinions about Ashley's courses. But from this group came a TikToker named Cheryl Hodge that put Ashley in her business. Listen. I've been watching her on TikTok and I was watching them go back and forth. I should have covered this case a long time ago, but I didn't know if she was lying. I didn't know if, if Ashley was lying. I didn't know who was lying. You know, so many lies out here in the world, man. So many people that are trying to downgrade other people's character just because they don't like them or whatever. You don't know who's lying out here in the world, right? Right. So I didn't know, but evidently she was telling the truth. I didn't know to believe or not to believe her. I just was lost. But I would, I did start following her from her talking about this. You know what I'm saying? On full blast. Legends say that these two right here <laughs> are some elite scammers. Well, let me Ashley right here. Let me tell y'all about her first. Ashley became known after she created a course that generated over a million dollars in less than 40 minutes. She scams people out of a thousand dollars, sometimes two thousand dollars, to be able to fund this lifestyle that she's flaunting. And she, she wanted the one that got scammed. All over the internet. Now, allegedly, she has one that she offers for a thousand, and she has a bundle pack where she offers for two thousand. I mean, people all over the world are saving their coins, their pennies, their dimes to be able to attend this digital course recipe to potentially become a six-figure business owner. Or as Ashley says, she has helped several people accomplish. All right, let's get into the details of some of the things she has conquered since starting this course. First things first, she bought this very expensive castle, and I want to say if I read the paperwork right, this castle is located in North Carolina. She paid off her mom's mortgage, kudos to that. Then she met, fell in love, got engaged to this weird, <laughs> to this quirky looking dude right here. Now let me talk to y'all about Brother Grayson. Brother Grayson was a young, failing black man who started New Credit Law, offering three-day courses for $30,000. Now, before he ran into Ashley, he was out here being showboated and sugarboated by this old white man by the name... <laughs> I remember her saying this too, by saying that he liked men. Robert. Now, Miss Ashley here was the only one to pay the... Y'all see, she's showing the bad picture. She ain't gonna show no good picture. She don't... The old, ugly, the 16 to 17 year old pictures. Thousand dollars to attend this man's class. And allegedly it was her way of shooting her shot with this man. Now the stories and everything that I've read, which I'm gonna be coming with the receipts that were sent to me, shows that this woman indeed does buy the men that she be with. Now y'all follow along with me on this journey as I show y'all and explain to y'all why this lady is such a trending topic now. I'm coming with the things that she will not allow to be showed on her platform. All the real reviews of her DCR course, allegedly how she stole somebody else's course, tweaked it, amped the price, and then promoted it as her own. Allegedly how she bought her own wedding ring. So who ain't using other people's style though and putting their own on it? Now she can't, she can't knock her for doing that. And if you see somebody else do it, if you do it and tweak it, it becomes yours because you put your own style on it, right? Right. That, that's what they've been doing. They've been stealing creations and putting something else on it and making it another creation. Right? Okay, then. Light bulb's been out, but now we got LEDs. I mean... And then said that Mr. Man who moved to Dallas with only 27 cents paid for it. 
amongst the whole bunch of other things that will come to the light. Ashley didn't like what was being said, and she sued Sherelle for $1 million, stating that the claims defamed her character and her business, and she lost that lawsuit. After that, Sherelle became one of the three people Ashley and her husband put a hit out on. Now, to further explain... Hey, putting putting the truth out. They say the truth hurts. She don't want the truth to be out, y'all. Hit story. Let's first speak about Olivia Johnson, who was a friend of Ashley. Ashley actually met Olivia years ago on Facebook, and Ashley gifted Olivia's mom a house. Four months ago now, we introduced you to seven-year-old legend Johnson. He was innocently shot in his grandma's South Memphis home by a drive-by shooter. Now, when we met him, he was right here at the Bonner Children's Hospital eating a popsicle. Now his family has gotten a gift they'll never forget. She just keeps saying, I feel like I'm dreaming. Like, you know, this don't even feel real. Olivia Johnson says she first met Ashley Grayson on Facebook, and they've grown closer since. We met on Facebook like five years ago. She um, hit me up through the inbox. She asked me, could I uh, do promo for her? And she can fix my credit. I was like, yeah, cool. Since then, Grayson has given back to single moms across Memphis, buying cars and now a home. It all started when Grayson asked Johnson for a list of possible moms who needed help. I said her about three three uh, women, my mom included. Gave them, she said, I want a lot of background info and stuff like this. So this one, I brought up the shoes, you know, because my mama's house was shot up like five times just her living there for these two years. This home at an undisclosed location is fully paid off. All taxes and maintenance will be paid by Ashley and her husband for the next two years. Johnson says her mother was eager to move. How they gonna get paid when she get locked up? She faced a RICO charge now. Sat. My mom been talking about it ever since. Like she's so overwhelmed. The home giveaway video has garnered thousands of shares and comments on social media. But Johnson says the love and attention goes beyond Facebook. Ashley is just everything to us. Like we and they, like this is everything, and she know it. Yeah. I'm indebted so, to her for the rest of my life. Now, unbeknownst to Olivia, Ashley kept her name on Olivia's mother's home, and she would not take it off when Olivia asked her to. It started getting into it. Olivia let the cat out of the bag and. Let it be known that Ashley and her husband put a hit out on Sherelle. Ashley, you know what I was talking about? You know I was talking about about the Sherelle stuff. I was like, we need to just leave her completely alone because there's too many eyes on her. There's too many eyes on her. And then earlier, Josh said she got too many eyes on her now. And then the TikTok thing because I was like, damn, it's just her right now. But if something happened to her, this gonna be in front of everybody. Now, according to Olivia, she wasn't going to really do it and she wasn't going to let her husband do it. But she said that she no longer trusted Ashley because for one, Ashley... Dang. So she really just sat there and tried to use that girl because she bought the girl mama house. Well, she didn't buy the girl mama house. She bought a house and let the girl mama stay in it because she wouldn't take her name off of it. So therefore, it wasn't their house. You know what I'm saying? That's why they was going to continue paying the taxes on it because when they got ready to put you out, you had to go. You know what I'm saying? So she wasn't giving them nothing. She didn't give them nothing. She let them borrow it. Now she feel like that they supposed to do something for her. Now she want these folks to go take out this girl because this girl explaining to everybody the truth about her. Would not take her name off of her mother's house. And for two, if Ashley was the type of person to put her and her husband in this type of trouble, she was never a friend to begin with. Exactly. The next person that Ashley and her husband, Joshua, allegedly put a hit out on, and that's Dr. Derricka Harwell, who is a millionaire business coach. She doesn't just talk the talk, she lives it. She's actually everything that Ashley inspired to be. She's a multimillionaire in the credit repair industry. She coached 11 small business owners into seven-figure income. She's done all of that and then some. Now, Ashley built this obsession for this woman, creating fake pages, stalking her. And honestly, Derricka had enough. She said, child, I had to get legal and file a whole restraining order on this one. It ain't what you think, I promise. Be careful who you show admiration to, sis. 
I bet a million dollars this ain't it. So Ashley decides to sue Derricka for a million dollars. And in that million dollar suit, she said that she was the one being stalked. Dr. Derricka says that she's the one being stalked. They're going back and forth. They actually proved that Dr. Derricka was the one being stalked. And Ashley lost by default judgment. Although she and her attorney are trying to prove that they did not lose, Ashley has not paid the money yet. They're still in court trying to fight it. But in the midst of trying to fight that, Dr. She constantly losing these million dollar lawsuits that she filed. Well, man, listen. Erica found out that Ashley put a hit out on her, and not only did she do that, she wanted it to happen in front of her kids. With the money, like, did you want us to come out there like tomorrow or like, like I'm trying to think of like. were to be carried out by Olivia and her husband, Brandon. So Olivia said she was only trying to finesse Ashley out of the money. It wasn't ever going to go down for real. Now, the last hit was for Patrick Tate, who is the ex-boyfriend of Miss Ashley Grayson. And it's unclear exactly why she wanted him gone, but rumor has that he has something in his phone that she does not want to get out. And she was ready to put extra money on his head. <laughs> And I got like everybody. That was about Patrick. Needless to say, Ashley is not. It did a 60K to get this up out of here. Dang, listen. Got these folks gotta go. These folks gotta go. <laughs> well, that's crazy, right? She really out here putting hits on these folks recording the whole thing. Setting up, look, setting up. You think you gonna put me and my mama out there? How you doing? You going to jail? Currently in jail. None of these people have perished. Thank God. But charges are pending. There was an indictment listed on June 29th, 2022. And in that indictment, it says count one from or on August 26, 2022 and continuing until on or about September 11, 2022 in the Western District of Tennessee and elsewhere. The defendants, Ashley Grayson and her husband, Joshua Grayson, together with others known and unknown to the grand jury, did knowingly and intentionally conspire to use and cause another to use a facility of interstate commerce to with a cellular telephone with the intent that murder of DH, which is Derricka Harwell, a real person known to the grand jury, be committed in violation of the law of the state of Mississippi and as consideration for the receipt of <coughs> and promise and agreement to pay money and other items of pecuniary value, all in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 1958. Now, y'all have to remember, this is only for Dr. Derricka. There's two more counts. There's one for Patrick Tate, and there's one for Sherelle Hodge. Now, in count one, it says no more than 10 years imprisonment, no more than $250,000 fine or both, no more than a three-year period of supervised release, and a special assessment of $100. And you can't forget, it's not just Ashley that has these charges, but her husband, Joshua, has these charges as well. So we have to follow up and see exactly... But she was doing all the talking. So how he get charged? That's what I want to know. She, she was caught doing all the talking. How he get charged? What's going to happen, but I guarantee you, sis ain't gonna be there for a little bit of time. Y'all know the feds got a 99% conviction rate. I don't care how much money you have or who you are when it comes to the feds, ain't too many people getting out on that. What I would like to do is hear from you. What do you think about all of this stuff going on with Miss Ashley Massengill Grayson and the people that she tried to put a hit on? Leave a comment in, you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Now, I want to know what he got in his phone that she trying to get bro to. Is it a sick tape or some more talking about him doing something to somebody? Or has she been like this all her life trying to set people up, get people took out? Has she ever came through with one? Has she ever, has, has she ever had one completed that we don't know about? Hmm. Makes me wonder. Don't it make you wonder? I don't know. Man, listen. These folks is getting to this money. They thinking they hit calls, they shot calls. Man, listen, live your life 
quit letting your haters get to you. If you were doing right by people, they wouldn't have nothing to talk about. They wouldn't have nothing to tell on you. You done got rich off all these people the wrong way. And I can't get y'all to like a video. But y'all buying these courses, making these people rich, and y'all getting scammed. That's why it's hard to trust people that's actually out here trying to get our game, man, because of people like this. It's hard for me. Somebody inbox me and say, send me your cash app, you're getting blocked. I don't know if they're trying to bless me or trying to rob me. I'm going to take robbery and think that's what they're trying to do, and I'm going to miss my blessing. Because guess what? It's going to come back 10 times anyway. You know what I'm saying? So if you cash out, if you holler by cash out, you're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. In the shop, in the links, I don't like that. Don't send it to me. If, if you can't tell me what it is before you send it to me and I don't know you, I'm not, I'm not finna click it. You ain't getting my cash out. My cash out is my cash out, and that's what it is. And it ain't getting hacked because I ain't got nothing tied to it, no way. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, man, drop down in the comment section, man. Let me know how y'all feel. About the way Ashley Grayson, man. Hun, hun, old husband trying to get people knocked off because they scammers. But I understand people trying to mess up their money. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. You try to mess up my money, you know. But once you get some of my money, you should invest it in something else if you know you already scamming people at something else. Right or wrong? No. Don't got the business. You didn't even got what you didn't got. Leave it alone. Get away from these folks. Leave these folks alone. Do something else. Do something positive. Do something the right way. Open up a clothing store. Build you a mall or something. You know, or something. Do something. But anyway, man, it's your boy on yo. <laughs> Y'all already know what's going on, man. I'm checking now. Peace.